So what's the difference between regular bacon and Canadian bacon? Honestly, we're not entirely sure, but we made something that looks a lot like Canadian bacon. So that's what we're calling it, Canadian bacon. Hopefully the Canadians don't get mad at us and invade. <laughs> but they're so polite, they'll probably just apologize. Once he's got it properly trimmed, Mike's going to try to tie it up to keep it as round as possible. A. Eh? So now Mike is going to put it in a wet cure, just like we do our hams and our pork belly. He's going to put it in there for two weeks. Okay, we're going to take a look at this is what that rolled up loin looks like after it's been in the cure for two weeks. There you go. Canadian bacon. Technically, after it's been cured and sliced, you can call it bacon. However, here at the Crouch Ranch, we don't call it bacon unless it's been applewood smoked and maple glazed. We're going to smoke this for several hours at the coolest temperature we can in order to keep from rendering the fat. Yeah. Now I'm going to put a nice coat of pure maple syrup on here.
Now I'm not cooking these. I'm only smoking them. This has not got over 150 degrees, 160 degrees maybe. Um, so the whole idea here is just to impart some smoke, uh, but not to render the fat. All right, look at that. That's what's going to be our Canadian bacon right there. Beautiful. Okay, let's shut her down, add some more apple wood, and get it smoking again. Still got a couple hours to go. So there's that belly slab. There's the other one back there. After about a, a four hour smoke, got our hawk up there. Look at that Canadian bacon. Look at that, look at that beautiful cut. Beautiful pork loin. Oh yeah. Now it's time to slice it. Wait, wait, wait. This is the final product uh, after the cure and the smoke and I've cooled it down so it's nice and stiff. I actually took some slices off of this and cooked them to test them out. But now we're gonna slice this thing up. So. He said stiff. Yeah. Three's good for now. So now what we're gonna do is Put this bad boy on. Get a straight cut. And here we go. Let's see what we like, how, how we feel about that thickness right there. So it's a little thin. So we're gonna kick this up a notch. Right there. And that's a little thick. That's pretty thick. That's our ham. What's the difference? That's looking pretty good. I think that's about that's about what we're looking for. Right there. So let's One of these days I'm gonna get me a really nice Hobart, but they're like a thousand bucks at least. They've got rebuilt ones over at Chef City every now and then. So once we got it all sliced, we go ahead and vacuum seal them into one pound packages. You can do whatever size packages you want, half pound, whatever. Um, it's America, you can do whatever you want, you know, and it's going to be in pounds because we don't do the metric system here because this is America, not Canada, eh? Anyway, just kidding. Don't get mad at me. I don't want angry Canadian hate mail. It's just a joke, people. So thanks for watching our video about bacon versus our version of Canadian bacon. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell so you get the notifications, and make sure you're following us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, even if you're in Canada. Hey? Hey. <laughs>